All right, what up, guys? This is your boy, like one half in duo. Um, basically, I got the crew right here. It's the impromptu quick podcast. I have a topic I want to de- I want to hear these guys' thoughts on, which is which, let's the, video hit it up. Al- which the video already done gone up. But yeah, let's just put it on here. We talk about stuff. So um, basically, this year I did a video about um, no E three, and. We have not gotten E3 in the last um, almost three years now. Three years, yes. So. Oh, boohoo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, let me. Start. So, my point is, like I said, we see what happened now. We, we had we had the PlayStation State of Play just happen. We know the Direct's going to be coming soon. So. Uh, I think you mean the Sony PC State of Play with pretty much whatever's left going over to PC. Oh, we got that. So, oh. you know what? You know what? Let, let's go with this one. So, what do you guys now that E three, like I said, they said they're gonna try to bring it back a couple years from well, like two years from now. That's what some of the organizers says. We'll see how that works out. I don't know. The but, old girl is dead. Quit trying to reanimate her. <laughs> I don't care what no, you guys. The old you know. girl ain't dead. This is a person. Well, in a way, E like I said, like I said in my video. E3 started out the way it should have started out and was good. I'm not against it. And I get, I had a, it was on my bucket list, including Doc. I don't Doc, I don't know if Doc is here or not, but including Doc, when we used to say, yeah, I want to go to E3. Cause he used to come and hey, hey, like, or lady, you want to go to E3, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. He, he Stuff was, like he that. Was, and I get it. But after 2000, like, t- like 2012 and stuff, it's like, I felt like. E3, uh, has, be- yeah, E3 has become for the streets. Basically, it started becoming a dick measuring contest between the console and the whole console one, all that nonsense. I was like, I don't like this. It was literally supposed to set up, to set up data and, of course, to broadcast new stuff coming out. Of course, we know that. I, like I said, I've said it in my video. But it's just, it's, I don't know. It's just, it didn't feel, it, it don't feel no more because, again, it became a dick measuring contest, which I hate. And you, you guys know that from I said it in multiple videos. But, Yep. What are you like? I said down the road, I'll go with you, Kenoshi. Case you gotta leave and be tired. But like, what do you think? What about E three now? Through the last years, we have the E three. Do you think it's better off the way it is now? Yeah, I, I think it is. I like the idea of a lot of these announcements being spread out uh, throughout the summer because mm-hmm. it kind of gives you something to look forward to, to rather than you know just E three. Everything is everything is at once, just throwing at you. A lot of games gets a lot of games get missed in the shuffle. A lot of games mm-hmm. don't get the attention that they need to. Mm-hmm. So the idea of things being spread out throughout the summer, you know, will give games, uh, smaller games like indie games and maybe not even quite games, but smaller games that some of these bigger publishers are pushing uh, more attention throughout the uh, throughout the summer. So I think this is a better better path. I got you. What about um, what what about you, uh, Sprite? Uh, I think we're at the point now where it's kind of looking over saying we don't really need E3 anymore, and the reason being is, well, remember when Nintendo got all that flattened because they stopped doing E3 and just want to do their own thing? <laughs> and look at the state of play now. Yeah, yeah state of play is doing it. Xbox and experience. The Volvo Digital, like. <laughs> and who can forget the great tragedy of 2015? Yeah, exactly. like I said in the video, even though a lot of people saw, said that they, they, because they tell multiple games that we already know about, whatever. But again, other than Star Fox, every game that Nintendo talked about on 2015 came out. Came out, out and Star Fox came out, and Star year. Fox came out within the year as well. Horizon Zero Dawn was announced, and it came out until 2017, two years later. Yeah. So it's just that's the way it is. And plus it's and plus it's nice to cut out the middle, man. It's like just keep showing games and they be and be done with it. Because that's what it's supposed to be about at the end of the day, right? Mm-hmm. And I don't I don't I don't give a I don't give a crap about some some random uh singer coming up on stage dancing. That's like what does that have to do with video games? Nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, okay, that's his day. What about you, um, Triple? Well, I just have this, the same sentiment uh, 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 as the rest of them. But 
I still went and, and go and take a peek of, uh, um, uh, oh crap, uh, forgot this person's name. Uh, let's just call him the Dorito Pope. <laughs> Jeff Keeley. <laughs> oh, right, oh, Jeff, oh, oh, Jeff Keeley, okay. okay yeah. yeah, I was looking at uh, Jeff, Jeff Keeley's show and, um, Breaking my own vows of not not watching any react uh, reaction videos, even live, decided to do that. And out of randomness, I picked the most dude bro kind <laughs> of YouTube video. And to my shock, that even they are vehemently disappointed. Because wow. I'm like. Um, but by, by their notion, there's just just about just about every um, every game that was world premiere is basically a first person shooter. I'm like, wow! But this is what, what y'all wanted, so though, what, right? Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, so yeah, this is what y'all wanted. So shut the fuck up and buy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, my thing is like this right now. You have all this stuff going on with, you know, like, like I said, like Kenoshi said with you, is best to spread some of this stuff out and you find out certain things right there. And um, before I even go into that, what about you? Um, let's see. You said your part, right, Anderson? Casey uh, Jones, man. Well, nah. Well, Trev, I'll talk about that later. Okay, E3 is just to be, was supposed to be at the showcase, right? Yeah. But then you, the cancer that is YouTube and the YouTube game community got in there and pretty much turned into what you said, a dig measuring contest, even though the industry is kind of going down the toilet. And when you got pretty much a lot of these Sony, former Sony exclusives winding up on the PC, it's like, uh, what's the point of it all then? <clears throat> What's the, what's the PlayStation? Yeah. Plus, I mean, we got the internet, so you can just talk and reveal games as they come. <clears throat> but the YouTube, the gaming YouTubers, they dep I guess they depend on E3, yeah, so they have something to talk about, because they're leakage <laughs> like that. Mm -hmm. Got you. And again, for me, like I said, I'm looking at stuff right now. Like Right now, as again, I'm... Nintendo channel, so we have Nintendo, mostly go towards Nintendo stuff. Again, I do have a video reacting to the state of play and talk about at least two games that I know I'm interested in just to see what's going on, Street Fighter 6 and, and Resident Evil 4. But those are videos you guys are gonna see, you can see yourself. I don't know, I don't know why I want to put this video in between the mix because I have it I have it stationed out for like three weeks of videos. But in that regard, I'm just saying that. Like I said, you have um, what you got? Is Kenoshi just said battle? Ba um, the, you know, hypercharge just just battle. I mean, battle whatever it is for the Mario Strikers battle just came out. Then you have Fire Emblem, um, Warriors, Warriors, and the demo. People the demo the just demo. came out. There's a demo. Then you have like you have that. Then you have um, Xenoblade Three coming out next month. I'm like, it, I mean, you got heavy hitters coming out for Nintendo. And of course, you, and you got some stuff also like the Turtles games. That we, yeah, just, got, we just got announced coming out next week. Yeah. Digitally. Hey. Which is freaking awesome. Yes, and to go, now you can see what we were saying, Anderson. What, you got Casey Jones now. I was hoping, I was hoping. I mean, they I, turned I, I thought it was April. Happen. Yeah, you know me, I'm a guy, half a little fist kind of guy. I mean, they put April in there, and he was not a combatant in the 80s cartoon, which is what this game takes the most from. Mm -hmm. But I'll let it slide, because they put in Casey, and of course Splinter. And they got six way multiplayer, online and offline. That's mm -hmm. a cool. Awesome. Yep. <laughs> Get your pizza ready. Got you. Pizza sir. time. <laughs> it's funny, guy. Okay, if you get if you go to Lemonade Game Run and you get the special version, they give you a they give you a coupon. Um, coupon for Pizza Hut. But because Pizza Hut is saying, "Hey, hey, we, we're gonna have stuff for Pride stuff for uh, we, we, oh no, buy transgender <laughs> books for children." <laughs> I said, "Pizza Hut, f you." F no, no. <laughs> <laughs> 
No! No! And, well, to be fair, like, it hasn't been the same since they stopped, since they, uh, stopped doing all the dine-in stuff. So we're talking at least about like 15 years at least. Not really. There's some so places that I, I, where my girlfriend lives at, she did their pizza to dine in. Oh wow, huh. that's it. We're, that's we're going with Domino's. Might be the only one left in North Carolina. Then. Not really, because the one down the street from where I'm at too was a dine in as well too. So no, they're still there. Hey. Okay, this guy, he's got to hunt for him. Yep. It ain't the still. same. It still ain't the same though. Like when they had like what was it tabletop uh, Miss Pac-Man and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> the, the, the uh, salad so, bar. <laughs> yeah, I agree with Trip though. Should be Domino's, yes, like in the movie. Oh yeah, it was Domino's in the original movie. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Again, By the way, uh, it's a pizza, but not for me. Uh, gotta watch the gotta watch the carbs. <laughs> you can watch the carbs if you if you if you eat certain way. Yeah. Well, well, you, certain, you say yeah. I like it. Yeah, I was gonna have certain well, toppings. <laughs> Well, I try to get the, I try to get in the gym at least five days a week, for like two wow, weeks. That's a lot. <laughs> no, nice. more than me. But I congratulate you on that. Yeah, way more than me as I well. I congratulate you on that. I wish I could go to the gym, but I can't drive because I drive on my under speed limit. <laughs> as long as you get some gym equipment at home. Oh, yeah, I, I got, got a sh- I got a sh- I got a shout out. I got a shout out. Ring fit. Great job. As a new, <laughs> new IP for Nintendo, 14 million. It's all good. I got yeah. Ring Fit. I just don't have the space to utilize it. Or the new sports game that just came out recently. Yeah. If I could do that, then maybe I'd be better off. But no room. Got you. Oh. I got you on that. And then again, I have to. I, I might do a little quick video on this. Another video I might do because. I got lucky. Now the prices has gone back up. Funny enough, you you gotta, boy, you gotta watch that that um Amazon like a hawk. Oh my goodness, you know it's, it's too bad um Doc isn't here because man, I would like to share share him a video of uh yeah, uh prices of old games, especially Wii U, is really really going up. Oh, oh don't remind I'm not me. I'm surprised I'm just, that. I, don't remind me. I still need to get another copy of Fire Emblem. Path of Radiance. I don't know how it just disappeared from the box like that. I got you. Well, for yeah. me, I and I give and a shout out to SK because I, I linked him up and told him, "Hey, you want to get this?" One of my regrets, I fixed. One of my regrets I ever had, I I fixed. I didn't forget. All, I didn't pick all of them, but this is okay. one. I, I finally got Xenoblade Chronicles to Go to Country Eternal, the physical version. Oh, oh. You fix the same regret as Shadow Foxes. <laughs> I always said I didn't really need it, but because it's a standalone game and because my Switch is my biggest physical collection ever in gaming, I wanted a physical because it's a good game. And I'm like, oh, please tell me. Oh, I got it. Yes. And I saw it. it did I buy it for did I buy it for the for the thirty dollars? No. Restock. I know I didn't. But I didn't buy. I bought it. For, I bought it for forty nine ninety nine. I could work with that. Hmm. I could work for that. Compared to right now, if you go to Amazon, it's back up to eighty nine dollars. Wow. Oh, sorry about that. So, yeah. So I got my Xenoblade Chronicles Country Turner. Yep. And I know, like Anis was saying, we were trying to go on Nintendo to try to get Xenoblade um, um, Xenoblade Three. With a special edition, but no luck. That thing was crazy as hell. Yeah, I'm hoping the next time that it goes up, I can, but I doubt it. Because maybe it's not a smart idea to limit it via the Nintendo store. Neither the same thing for Fire and Free Hopes. Yeah, it's not worth I'm, I'm probably going to have to import that one again from the UK. Gotcha. Well, we'll see how that works out. So, and again, I have been look at, for me, um, Adrian. I think it's Adrian. Um, Warriors. Adrian, Adrian Rising. Um, gotta say, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta a review for that game. That again, I like games like these. I don't know why, but I love these action RPG games. Just action RPG. Yeah. 
And I like how people have their own style to stuff. It's just like more Master Demon Blade. It's just like Od Odin Spear, but it's his own unique take on stuff. I like it. Sakurai so Ruins is another one. I like those kind of games. So I can't wait for the other game that's supposed to come out, which I don't know the name of it. And this is the, this is the funny part about this is this is the prequel to the game that they wanted to they want to um, release, which is Etri um, um, I think Etrian uh, Rise of Warrior no Hundred Warriors that's supposed to come out next year. So this is not bad. This is a good, you got a good story for the action I like, and again I like action games like this so you could do stuff. I really do. I would, like I said, you could go out, when the video goes up, you could watch it and see how I play the game and how I could do the combos and stuff like that. It's just, I just like games like this. So, Thank you. It's, it's really good. Again, I don't know if they're going to make it out of physical, but right now it's the only digital only. But again, it's, uh, an, indie, it's, a, it's an indie, co it's an indie co um, company, and I'm going to give them their, 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 I'm gonna give them their, their dues. Get them love. Yeah. Give them that when they when they when they send the, the games that they have, man. Yes, is. So, but again, I just wanted to talk about, like I said, talk about this stuff because it was just it, it was needed because we don't have any. You know, like I said, E three has just changed, and I'm not like I said I'm not knocking this for again PlayStation. I was following it with the direct and everything. The same thing with the PlayStation uh, Xbox experience, so. It is what it is. Seems like they're doing great. Yeah. You see the games you like, you pick what you want to pick, you do what you want to do. And that's all it is. That's the day of the, I, I, I was not right. In the video, you're going to see, I'm not raining down on people who want these certain games because you know what? The, the diverse, this is the only time I will use diversity the correct way. <laughs> <laughs> having a diversity of, having a diversity of games and genre makes for a, a, makes for a very vital gaming industry. Yep. And so, even though some of these games, I'm like, mm, like the Street Fighter Six, I want to see what they're gonna pull off. Do I have this? And again, Anderson showed me a picture. Now, many people liking the way guy looks. Understandable. <laughs> it does look weird, but it, I can see. The, you know, it is what it is. It's just this. It's this weird thing where they're turning a series as with 2D anime like into something that's like realistically Realistic. yet anime ish. And it just feels off, and can un uncanny valley right there. Like, it's you. not exactly, it's not exactly like a Tekken. We start off as a 3D anime sort of thing. <clears throat> you would, you would think um, that SNK would have gone that route, not Capcom, but uh, I shouldn't uh, be surprised. Look, look, looking back at how how they were going. Before you, before you say, Trip. Before you say, it might come true. Okay, all the fight is probably the most uncanny valley, like, fight game series SNK has. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. I got you. Again, for me, again, I, I might get it on PC and see what it is, but I, 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 and it's still going to work out because I have the, the controller. I can use my Wiimote. But I'm going to, yeah, Resident Evil 4. I, I'm not gonna lie, Resident Evil 4 was the one that got me into the series, really. I know about Resident Evil 4, but it didn't catch me until it came to the GameCube. Now, mm -hmm. sadly, the Capcom pulled wow. the shit that they pulled, but whatever, it is what it is. You got it on all consoles, everybody enjoy it, but yes, I, I, that is one of my favorite games. I would like to see the, the difference they did in, in that game, because I do love Resident Evil 4. Yeah. Uh, well, okay, I have okay. to ask. I have to ask. Was you like aren't was surprised about the announcement? Because I, no. I mean, we think we think we knew it was coming. So I was yeah. like, I don't know why people was like, oh my god, like we knew this was coming. It's more like how, how it, people it, got short term memory loss. I think it's it's more like how it looks. That's uh, shocking. Uh, that's, nah, that's 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 cliche. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what kind of concerns me though. I mean, Resident Evil 2 Remake was pretty faithful, but Resident Evil 3 kind of went off the rails a bit. So uh, who knows if which way they'll go with this one. I mean, it's 2022. Can we even have an evil midget these days? <laughs> or, uh, what? Or hell, can, 
Or can we have, or can we have a Mexican guy commenting on a teenage girl's ballistics on her chest? Oh, we'll see. We will see. Oh, yeah. I'm praying. Well, we'll see what happens. So yeah. Oh yeah. Oh snap! Forgot there was also one thing. Um, um, of of Keeley's um game fest thing is that. Uh, one, 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 one critique. Uh, Keely, how about you? How about you make that show and try not to, not to lengthen the uh, uh, the time, because uh, half of the time it was more like uh, people were coming on stage and just talking about the game. I'm like, really, really, we're we're gonna bring we're gonna bring something that gamers themselves hate so much when it comes to E3 is. People come on stage and just talk on end. Like, yep. well, uh, that, that was one of the things I did. I did say about the PlayStation State of Play. A lot of these, again, trailers, trailers, CGI, trailers, no, yeah. no gameplay. Yeah, that was good. More of that. Well, yeah, but still, no gameplay and stuff like that. Just the usual oh, yeah. stuff. So it's like, yeah, not surprised by that at all. So yeah, that's the problem with Sony. Yeah, and it's, but the problem is Xbox. Oh. I have so low expectation for Xbox. Just put just, you bought all these co all these all these studios. Produce a damn game. That's all. That's all I say. I don't care what. I, just produce a damn game. At least you can go to the store and find an Xbox X Series. Not down on that. PlayStation. That's a little harder to get. And for the, I think I think they said for the first time they're like like something had happened. I forgot what it was. The day it was in Japan. There was the, oh yeah, the Xbox outsold them when it comes to games in Japan. I was like that. I was like wow. That's yeah, how that's all the PS5 definitely... or something. Yeah, that's how bad it's getting, man. What the heck's going on, Sony? Yeah. So this is what happens. Possible. This is what happens when uh you know where I'm going at with this. <laughs> <laughs> Say they don't well, they, move, wait, they, be- they move to Cali. Wait before anything they else. They got Cali Yeah. <laughs> Before anything else, so who's gonna be buying Spider Man and I guess Miles Morales on their PC now? Yeah, I probably will. I bet a lot of us would. Uh, I'll get it for PlayStation Five. I'm not gonna say I'm not I'm not fainting for it. I just as long as again I can find a PlayStation Five like I said I can replay PlayStation Four games and I get certain games I want. That's all I care for. But right now it's not a top of my priority to get a PlayStation Five. Just not. Yeah. Right right especially now, since right everything now. comes the PC and uh, you know there's a lot of Switch games to play. Yeah, there's so many Switch games to play for me. Is all right, but not only that. Finally, finally, these freaking graphics cards are coming back down. Good oh. grief! Yeah, took a freaking long time. I, I could get me at least at a th- thirty t- a th- um for about nine hundred dollars. Yeah, it's two hundred dollars more than than it, than our MSRP, but at least I mean a thirty eighty, but at least it's within reason. Within, yep. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, especially in this Biden economy. Yeah, it's just <laughs> at least it's in reason, cause that is ridiculous, man. All that seventeen hundred dollars is nah. Uh uh-uh. uh So. I'm hoping that everything goes go with certain things. That I go ahead and, and take this the computer that you guys see on my channel and give it to my sister and build up my computer. And the problem is though, I don't have the time to build what I want to do in the computer, which is basically I have a Zoid, which is Liger. That that gonna take a long time to build, and I ain't got the time for it right now. That'd be cool to put it in a, in a case though. Yeah. Are, are you? Are you, uh, are you, are you, you? You have a Liger computer case. So no, he has a Liger figure. A figure, that oh, a figurine that I could put inside of the case. Oh, okay. That'd be wicked. Yeah, uh, that, that would look cool. If I could get the colors to change and all this stuff, yeah, to be what it is, because it's blue and is 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 the Jaeger version, which is blue and white. So to put it in there and then have like the blue and white, you know, you know, color theme and everything, that'd be cool. Could, could you imagine? Could you imagine having a? Like a Gundam or like a Zoid. Oh my God! Yeah, please. Gundam. No, don't, 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 don't go uh, there. With base, me. base computer case that you can. They have one. I mean, that'd be, that'd be, uh, that'd no, be they have awkward. one. Not like, not like a, but let's shape like a Gundam. Oh no! Okay, okay, then no, no, no. 
Okay, no. yeah. There are there is, a gun, there is a Gundam case by Asus, but it's freaking expensive. At the time when I saw Gundam did it, um, uh, it's a Gundam did it. That that case was expensive. I think it was like a thousand something now. Nah, like fucking man, whatever. Mm. But they have a case that they yeah, like that. I saw the Evangelion uh, the graphics cars. Like that's a gonna be expensive as hell, and b that's probably gonna sell out. Yes, even Yes. Yeah. The thirty, I think it was a thirty ninety or thirty ninety Ti. Yeah, that's gone. <laughs> well, funny enough, you could buy the thirty ninety in in, in uh, Best Buy. Okay, thirty nine and thirty T and the thirty ten, the thirty eighty Ti. I can see they've been in Best Buy for the last couple of weeks now, at least two weeks. Two weeks. I don't know if it's still there. Last two weeks I checked, it was there. I've never seen such a. Such a waste of silicon with the 3090 Ti and the 6900 and the 6950 XT. But God, man, why do these things exist? Obviously, they no, they exist. exist for a reason. Why? That's not interesting. They exist for a reason. But the, the yeah. thing about it is, the people who are buying them are doing it for the most mundane things. That's the problem. Yeah. Um, Kenosha, you're saying that these are a waste of silicone. Have you ever seen fake titties? <laughs> <laughs> That is yeah. true. That is true. Yep. Yep. Yeah, but I was looking at like how th how thick these cards are, and the graphics cards. Me. Graphics cards are about to get more power hungry in a time when in a, in a time, uh, obviously self self created, but in the time where we en we're entering an energy crisis. But yeah, yeah that's great. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can tell you right now. I'm, power, literally, I'm literally on Amazon right now, and you can get a thirty. It's gone on a little further too. You would get a third, uh, a thirty eighty for eight sixty six. Oh, okay. More, I've, seen, I'll tell you what. I've seen a couple of them for that eight sixty six, eight uh, um, sixty nine, eight eighty nine, uh, eight forty one. So they're there. So they're coming down in prices. Okay, Sprite kept quiet. I tell, I tell you what, oh, once the uh, once the forty series comes out, people are gonna be singing Trip Switch because. Uh, but uh, as I know some of the rumors are, you know, well, I mean they're rumors, so take them with a with a bag of salt. But mm -hmm. you know, uh, <laughs> you can end up happening to get a a, a new power switch for your <laughs> for your uh, breaker box because these things are. They're going to. Let's just say they're they're going to be a glutton for power. Bro, I got you. Feed me, feed me. You. But hey, if I could finally get my computer the way I want it for, uh, from all these years, that because again because of all things, hey, I'll do it. Yeah. Uh, I'll do it. And again, I still have a computer that's still you know built in two thousand eight and it's still working. So hell with that. Um. What? Yeah, I'm not even. Oh, oh, can I? Can I use your services, sir, to get a PC built? Yeah, I could build you one for you. You, you, hey. you. Thank you, Anderson. That's the whole. <laughs> that's how it goes. That's how that goes. You pay me. I buy the. You pay me, or you go buy the parts and ship it to me, and I'll build it for you. I'm not against that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because, uh, it it's, it's coming to a time I need to become. I need to start streaming on Twitch again. I got you. Yeah, I, okay. I, I, I could definitely do it. Yeah. Oh, oh, stream, oh, oh you're streaming on Twitch, uh, Kenoshi? No, he's talking about building. Uh, no, building the PC. But just, uh, but Kenoshi, uh, but Kenoshi, you're the same as me. Give me the money to build the stuff first. <laughs> <though>. <laughs> I know you ain't nope. doing this shit for free. Nope. Oh yeah, definitely. And, I'm not, not, and, again, nope. and again, I'm not saying that free like you know that your time. I'm talking about you're not buying the parts. You yeah. you buy the parts yeah. and whatever. For me right now, I'm, I'm like to be honest with you, I'm waiting until the end of the year because again, just to see now things are gonna get worse. I know that because I've seen some stuff, but I'm still waiting because we already they already DDR fives that's out. Yes. But the only thing about it is Ryzen doesn't uh, Ryzen doesn't have a DDR5 board, so they said you're gonna go you gonna uh, go Intel. No, no, no. That's what I said. They, they, the rumors are that the DDR5 board is gonna come out by the end of the year from Ace from um 
uh, the new the new next generation from AMD is gonna be that. The next oh, okay. Ryzen is gonna have DDR5 in it. And right now yeah. DDR5 is cheap. Not not super cheap, but it's not expensive, crazy. Because I just saw they they, they, calm, they start calming down a little bit because it was uh it it was highway robbery for a while with DDR5 when it first. Well, came I out. I saw sixty four gig um sixty four gigabytes for three hundred dollars. That's not bad at all. I guess it's so terrible for a new platform. Huh? I guess that's not that's not terrible for a new that platform. Is no, that is not sixty four gigabytes of RAM, Kronoshi. That is not a bad price. Because yeah. remember when we had the RAM shortage yeah. a while ago, it was crazy just to get DDR four like twenty four hundred. Yeah, that was weird. I know there was some, it's like every year, every other year, there's some sort of weird. Oh yeah, trust shortage. trust me. I'm trying to go get my dag on M um my um uh, M2 drive in the next couple. That I will buy soon. That I don't care about. Give my um my, um M2 hard drive. I'm gonna get me because I, like I said, I, I could get one for one set, 150 for two terabytes from Western Digital. I'll be getting that at least just so. so I, I'm knowing with this computer that I built right now that that is I need to get me a bigger drive. A lot of these stuff is so big now. These graph that I like graphic these. Some of these videos and stuff that I'm doing, whatever, they're getting so big. I said, yep. nah, I need to, I need to pick up. Because <laughs> hey, hard, hard, hard drives are, are going, to, go, going with the dodo birds. That's what someone is saying. Not really. Not the way that we no. do it. They're gonna still, they're gonna still no. be flash drive no matter what. Or the like I said, M.2. So yeah, they're still gonna be. We're still gonna have spinning platter drives for uh, yeah. for a bit. Well, we're still doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're, they're inexpensive. They're, they're compared to M.2s and SSDs. They're inexpensive if you need a lot of storage. Yeah, Cause, yeah, cause solid, storage. yeah, because solid state, like it's still kind of expensive depending on the size you want. Well, like I said, well, like I said, that's true. Yes, but now you see, like I said, the price is like I said, one seventy-five for two terabytes. Um, I'm cool with that. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try to have like a hybrid, so it's like I'll have like the solid state drive for like boot, like fast boot, but I'll have like a regular traditional hard drive. Well, in there. my well, I have so much drives here that some of my old um I am gonna put in that in the case because the case I have is super is it is big. I can put some of the spinning drives in there as backup or whatever, but I do want to have a C drive that I could that could that could because when I do some of these videos that I've been doing now, they've been just. It's just a couple. These gigabytes go quickly as hell, mm -hmm. and then I want to set up a. I want to set up a, a nice because I want to like the board I was looking at was a crosshair, but and again if a crosshair from ASUS they have two M.2 drives in there. I was like, I want to have a two terabyte and a one terabyte. So at least between that for backup and redundancy, then I could put in my other drives in there for whatever I need. More old music like later. To, like, Trip, you was talking. You listened to me when I was doing this. Sadly, I found an M2 drive. I was looking for a certain song that I want to do too for my new album, and I forgot it. And I plugged in the thing. Next thing I know, pop the damn battery. Oh, no. and, um, ex um, it exploded, but it expanded. I was like, Shit. and that might be that might be the drive that had that one song I was looking for. Oh no! So, I, no, that's why no, I, I want to do that. And the backup drive I had before. For some reason, don't want to work as well too. So it's like, okay, so yeah, it's something you need a backup or a backup. Well, uh, speaking of speaking of which, if you get the time, I still need your assistance. Cause... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this right now. So again, anyway, it's good it's good to have you guys back on the channel again. You there's many videos on the channel. There will be re there's reviews, there's topics, there's reactions. It's all there, and hopefully I'll get the mu the, the the music video for Hyrule War Hyrule Warriors, both of the games. The more epic, you know, the more action-packed kind of songs between you know, both of them are basically, I think I finished all combining that stuff. I just need to just render it and blah, 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 and put it up for the jukebox. So keep an eye out for that. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next time. So remember, there's no perfect games out there. What's perfect is not perfect to me. What's perfect is not perfect to you. Simply enjoy games on all consoles, including PC. Peace out.